Hi guys, let's make a video about quick GUI and quick EMU. One of the guys contacted me and said, Eric, uh, you're behind in the version numbering, right? That can happen. And please report it because we have thousand packages and well, over a thousand. And um, voila, I have now an up-to-date uh, package version for quick EMU and quick GUI. And I saw one, how long was it ago that I've tested it? And this is the last video, two years ago. We've tested it, so two years later, let's test it again. You know, we have, um, well, this is about virtual machines. That's one thing. And by default, we use VirtualBox with lots of settings in there. And Quick GUI is kept minimal, minimalistic, easy, but then also no configuration, no buttons, no sliders, no parameters. But interesting nevertheless. So let's have a look. Tested it out already several times. Let's first see what I have on my machine. So you know the version that works at this point in time, right? Quick emu. These guys, these two guys, were now the end of 2024 and Quick emu git was working and Quick emu is not working at this point in time. 496 release 53 is working together with Quick GUI bin 12101, right? All built just a few hours ago. And if you install these two guys, then Super D, you get yourself a quick GUI, right? That's the one we need, quick GUI. It launches this little bird here. And basically you start with this one first and then you go here. Once it's downloaded and created, well, it's it needs to get ISOs. Which ISOs? And that's where is, is, is the selling point, I think, I believe. And yes, I've tested already the Arco Pro and the Arco Net. So it's working, right? Arclinx has choices here and it is really correct. Net Plasma Pro and the last one, Net Plasma Pro. So it's just a matter of clicking. Say, okay, I'd like to have this version or that version, right? Select this version. Let's try Plasma. That's the last one and I've tested them all. First of all, you need to download. Here is your folder. I've deleted all the rest, not this one I see, delete. So Plasma is growing, right? In size, it's coming in, has to be around 3.5 gigabyte. Hence, let's pause the video. When the ISO is in, you'll get at the top level here, a configuration file, and together you can launch it. Let's first wait for the download to finish. All right, pausing. The download is finished and then a bit strange, but we need to dismiss this and then click here, manage existing machines. And there is your system and you click on this guy here and then off it goes, right? It's going to create all kinds of things. As you see here, lots of things that, uh, well, let's let them boot up. Let's look here first. And there may be an F3 and F2, baby. Okay, bytes, 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 3.6. Okay, and then down here, we've got this. Let's open this one as well. So user bin, quick emu, etc. This is the information for the system to launch. And on it goes. This is Cache OS, so we see some strange blue things. And that's... You probably hear that as well. <laughs> He's passed. What is interesting is the full screen, which is nice, but how to get out of it was a bit of a search. So super F12 and I'm out in super F12 and I'm out, right? So that's uh, interesting to know. Super F12, shift F12, F11 is working for full screen again. F12, F11, right? All right, so um, let's wait for the machine to, there he is, go to boot itself. Now, there is no slider or anything, so we get eight gigabyte of RAM. And how was it, I think, was it eight threads or eight cores that we get for uh, our CPU? And voila, then we're booting, right? It's, it's, it's ready, go. 
and install things voila install crop we don't like the resolution fine go and change the resolution normally you would go in here except he has these settings cinnamon has these settings apply it and keep it and click it away there you go and make this a bit smaller you can go you did your work bye bye and here we are right we are we're having a plasma wayland by the way thing and you can install it play with it and test it and of course don't stay there once you decide this is my operating system this is something i'd like to test out in real metal because it's always going to be more efficient more responsive on real metal than it is here right i have 32 gigabytes of ram now i've got only eight and stuff like that cpus more power and this is normal these days well yeah the, at that point in time i remember there were issues with plasma so let it crash today the latest iso i've built today has no issues it's just a matter of updating right so the new stuff comes in and there is a lot of updating available i suppose if we do ctrl t and go to sudo pacman minus s y y u you see how many gigabytes coming in so surely it will fix all those things one gig 1.5 how much wow 2.2 gigabyte right so yeah surely all the things will be fixed by then sound is working that's interesting didn't know that yet so sound is working fine inside quick emu that's a good thing to know and on it goes installing stuff let's uh, pause the video here again and reboot later and then suddenly it's time to reboot eh? so let's restart that's nice and we're launch <laughs> by the way let's fix it because again right uh, this is not the live environment anymore this is the keep yes sure the official one quit 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 skip all that things and here we are working and this is the speed I don't know what can I open I can open sublime text how fast is that voila open VLC I click done so it's quite responsive indeed here's Firefox sounds probably working we heard already a little bit of sound except all the rubbish uh, music and not too long otherwise they'll ban me something 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 nice this maybe no that's something else blah blah is this official music where look at that ai singing generator yep let's see this well we know we have sound <laughs> it was a stupid ad but we have sound so here's again a little sign look at that another sign terminal console sure updates what do you have okay bye so there you go you've got yourself a um, plasma system in quick emu remember shift f12 shift f11 shift f12 and we're back out and we're stop stopping it either you stop it here but the best thing is probably to be nice and say to shut down as this button voila enjoy quick emu and more enjoy the choices right this has a lot of choices by the way i've used mac somewhere down here i'll try it once more another mac version but what didn't work for me um where are you mac 
I'm looking over it. So windows here as well, 10 and 11. But there was also Mac somewhere. How was it called again? Mac OS. All right, there he is. So this one didn't work for me. So I'll try the big serve now, but not in this video. All right, cheers.